Marvelous for his message and direct for wherever. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a platform tag A Seed in Me Moment with Shil and also Dr. Shola Simba. We are here to encourage you on how you can identify your seed, on how you can discover your potential, on how you can identify the gift and the talents the Lord has bestowed upon your life. For adventure, you must have been doing one thing or the other, and you think you are doing it for a fun. Can I just tell you that it could be your gift or your talent to use in order to impact other people around you? Here is a platform to encourage you on how you can be encouraged to use your gift as a talent or to use your gift as something to impact other people's life. I have my wonderful sister here with me. Her name is Dr. Shola Simba. She is a mother, a mother of three, a beautiful wife. <laughs> she is a God-fearing woman of God, and also a music producer. She is a care provider, and also she is a um, she is a professional, a professional HR consultant. She's there to 
enlighten us on how she was able to identify a seed. She came from Ekiti State in Nigeria, and she's here to tell us a uh, uh, lovely or uh, choice of food that she loves so much. She's here to discuss all that with us. Please enjoy this moment with us, and I pray God Almighty we meet you too in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Can I as well encourage you to please share this program on your platform, call friends and family to tune in because you might be blessing someone by doing so. Also, there will be a segment whereby we, we will going to um, interact in the word of the Lord. Please let us contribute together, let us share knowledge together because there is knowledge that is wasted. The uh, scientists may start to understand that knowledge is power. Once you have knowledge, you have the ability to discover so many things. So please let us share knowledge and it shall be well with you. Please share on your platform once again and God will bless you for doing so. Welcome, my sister. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you for coming. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Can you please um, introduce how you are able to identify your seed as a gospel musician to our viewers. All right. Thank you, everyone watching us. And just as um, Presenter has said, it's time for you to share with people. So, you know, you are actually blessing lives. Yeah, this is your Shola Simba. And I did not just come up to be a Shola Simba. It started somewhere. Okay. And um, we've been able to, it takes time to be able to identify and discover, you know, who I am and uh, what God has in stock for me. Um, right from childhood, I've been, been able to, I, I discovered that there, I have passion for some things, yeah. basically. And I remember when I was young then, it's uh, about if you don't do this, you are not going for your choir rehearsal, you are not getting this done. Okay. That so sounds like a punishment to Yes, you. always. So I, because I don't want that, I don't want to be deprived of going for choir rehearsal, I always make sure that I did what I was supposed to do. Yeah. So, and uh, from childhood, I started singing at the age of eight okay. and leading children choir at that age, even though I didn't really know, but you know, there was this joy in me. So when you are, I was able to realize that it gives me joy. So yeah. when I am deprived of that opportunity, it brings sadness to me. Yeah. So I realized, so if you are doing something and you discover that you derive joy in that thing, then there is something special about, about that. It. Yeah. So at that point in time, I knew that there was something about this music, about singing, yeah. that, you know, it resonates. Anytime I hear about singing music, it resonates, you know, you know, in me. And I just want to do everything to ensure that I do it. So through self-discovery was actually self-discovery and you know aligning myself also with the, with uh, the knowledge of God mm. because when you know God it's easy for you to be able to align yourself and you know what God has in stock for you and the plan. So it didn't just come like that. When I discovered that I love this, I walked towards it. Okay. So after you discover your gifts, you still need to walk, walk towards, towards it, it and enrich it. So it's like a seed. When a seed is planted, mm -hmm. you don't just leave the seed there. In. That's right. You water the seed mm -hmm. for the seed to grow. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of things to nurture the, the seed. So when I realized that I had passion for it, one, I joined choir. Mm -hmm. I just this just came out like that. I joined the choir in my church to be able to nurture that gift. And in the choir of the church, that was where I was able to grow some confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, to the extent that when I was in school, in my primary school, secondary school, I was always the choir, you know, leader, leader there. Oh, wow. Because mm -hmm. I, so I always, because they just know that when it has to do with us singing, oh, Shola will be happy, will be happy. I remember the years when I was serving in Zaria, I don't know, my head YC, and that day, I, I didn't really, we'd been singing, we went for this rural rugged evangelism that we normally do, if you remember, for those people who did their NYC in Nigeria. So, and um, at, at that point in time, we, were, we had like 21 days program. I couldn't, I lost my voice in the process. And um, they now wanted someone to come and, you know, cover up for the other uh, core member who were not yeah. available. So somebody now said, oh, why did you call Shola to come and sing? Unfortunately, I could not say this. The person I said that, if Shola said she could not sing, there's something else. That that yeah. Because they know that she will always jump to fill in the gap. If you are not available, don't worry, I will do it. Just that thing, you know? So I, it was a self-discovery and... Um, I aligned myself with the word of God to be able to know my own area. Mm -hmm. I don't dare you to other people's area. I know my own area and I nurture that seed in mm -hmm. me. I nurture it by my one reading also educating myself, mm -hmm. training myself on the, 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 the rudiments of it, mm -hmm. what I need to know and what how it's usually done. Then I assembled I I I put in or I, I make sure that I 
find myself, put myself in, in the company, yes, mm. of people that can actually value that seed in me. Mm. So, so they if are you, able to help you. So, yeah, to help. So if mm. you if you have a seed mm. and you 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 are you are surrounded by those mm. who will discourage that seed in mm. you, the seed will definitely die. Wrong association. So, wrong association. so when mm. you I discovered my seed, I, I don't I, I make sure that people in my group, my association are people who value that seed, mm. who would also help me nurture so the seed they can also. Motivate so they you. can motivate me. Oh, so when wow. I know you have negative energy, bye. Okay now. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, wonderful. Thank you for taking us through that. God bless you, ma. Amen. So being a minister of God, a gospel singer, while you are going, you understand, okay, you have that seed, then you are moving forward from there. Then you became um, a, an HR professional consultant. You are a trainer as well. You you sub, um, you have an a training section where it's it's outlet to social care, as mm. you said earlier on. Can you please share with us? You have been a mother, a wife, and also a, a gospel singer. How are you able to cope in those areas? And one has never affected the other. Thank you very much. Yeah, one thing about life is uh, when we learn to prioritize things yeah. and we, when you prioritize your life, you know the time for this, the time for, for this. this. Yeah. While I was, well, even for the fact that I discovered myself right from the age of eight, I still created time to go to school yeah. to make sure that I get knowledge in some other area. Yeah, right. Because at that point in time, I wasn't thinking of using singing to of music to make money or whatever i just mm -hmm. see that it's a talent not I you know so it. i was just you know but i didn't allow the other aspects of my life which has to, to do lack. with my career also okay. to lack yes music is a career also some people are into it fully so but from initial stage for me i delved into the area to build my career and went into the university got my phd degree and after that i discover the, my area of strength which is the hr and I, what I've been able to do is that I've been able to prioritize okay. the time for work. My husband knows me that when you, if I don't give an appointment for you to call, if you call me at the time that I have already scheduled for work, yeah. I'm sorry, I won't be able to pick that call yeah. because it's not. So I don't want, I don't keep association with people who don't value time. Yeah. I, time is very precious. Oh, yes. So I, I always cherish my time and I use my time judiciously. Wisely. Yes, so if we, I know that I am a mother, okay. I know that I'm a career woman and I have a ministry. So I do not have time for frivolities. Okay. I don't have time for unnecessary discussions. The discussion now that will not edify, discussion that will not add value okay. to me, discussion that will not add value to the family. Okay. So what I've been able to do is that I give the time for home, I give it to home. Oh. The time for my career, for my business, I give I it to that. To. The time for my ministry, I do not compromise it. So I'm able to prioritize, oh. to ensure that at times it's not easy. Because at times, there are times that throughout the night, I won't sleep 2 a.m. Oh. Because I, when I realize that the target, I usually set a target for myself in a day to the glory of God. When I set a target that this is what I want to do today or within this week, when I discover that by Wednesday, I'm not I'm meeting not up meet the target, up. then I will have to stretch myself. I have to deprive myself of some sleep. And make sure that I do it so that I'll be able to cover. So that's what I've been doing. At times, my, my program that I do, middle of the night, that's when I prepare it because of the timing. So at times, when you have career, you have home, you have this and that, you may need at times also to bend to be able to stretch yourself and overstretch yourself at times to be able to, you know, cover up for those things. So mm -hmm. I've been able to do that and it's quite helpful for Hallelujah. me. Hallelujah. So Thank it you. makes you more even stronger and yes. be able to focus. Yes. Um, for you saying about that time, I think time is very, very precious and we should never allow anything to take our good time away from us. Well mm -hmm. done for that and God bless you. More wisdom yeah. upon you. Amen. Now, as a minister of God, what exactly is your role, especially a gospel singer? What is your role as a gospel singer? Okay. Um, in my whole discovery, my work with God and um, my area of strength, um, my other name is actually Praise Carrier. I am a praise, <laughs> I'm a praise leader. I'm, 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 I'm a, you know, I'm a writer. I compose songs, mm. I receive songs, and uh, I'm able to express what I hear by what God, God tells me, through or what songs. I see through my songs. I'm able to, you know, reveal it and say it out mm. in my songs so I can write and do that. I am a press lifter, I'm a press carrier, and um, my name, Shola Simba, came as a result of my discovery okay. that the Lord has made me an instrument of high praise. Mm. Not just an instrument of high praise, high sounding Simba. Mm. 
That's where it came from. Yeah. So I'm a voice uh, wherever I am to be able to lift the heart of people, to connect the heart of people to God. Yeah. One, for them to be able to know that God that is, is the is only one who can yes. do it. And yeah. to forget about their sorrow, forget yeah. about the worry, forget about it. About it. Yeah. Give him his food first. Yeah. Give him his food first and yeah. he will handle the rest for you. So anywhere I find myself, I am a messenger of hope, hope messenger of joy yeah. and happiness. No door moment. Hallelujah. No dull moment. On this program, no dull moment. <laughs> Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> that was wonderful. Thank you for answering that. So as your role, you know that wherever you are, you have to uplift every soul yes. to connect with the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Now, can you, can you share with our viewers, what are the challenges you have ever faced that is so serious and at a point you thought that no way you aren't moving forward anymore? Can you share with mm -hmm. our viewers, please? Uh, anyway, I first have, you know, in the course of my music, I remember my first album was released in 2012. And um, before then, I've been doing music, I've been doing backup, I've been doing a lot of music. But when I say professionally, I'm into it from yeah. 2012. And I faced a lot of challenges, you know, especially when it looks as if you are just the only one doing it by yourself yeah. and no one is helping. Yeah. You know, it happens like that. You just feel that, you no, know, it seems that you're you not know, encouraged. You're not encouraged, yeah. you know. And uh, at times, it's, it's, it will look like, are you actually really who called? Me? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you begin to think that, what's your, what's, 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 but you know the one thing about it is that, mm. even despite all your face, there is one bony desire mm -hmm. in, in me. You that always makes that there is nothing, there is no going back. Mm -hmm. you, even though I've done, you've done it. There, there were times, I, I remember when I recorded my first album, no, my second album. The producer lied. So many things. I don't want to say that anyway. You know, people people lying, people collecting money and they will not do what they say they want to do. <laughs> we faced all those. So there have been a lot of discouragement anyway, I must tell you. Uh, but none, I've, uh, there are many times I've, I've, I've felt so bad oh, wow. that I felt like, um, I've asked questions if I've actually, my mother will say that if I've actually been called, I will ask that, am I really called? Mm. So you do this, but you know, I always get answered. Immediately, mm. that you are called all the ones. This are little, little distractions. yes, yes, distractions that mm. you need to know that these distractions will come. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Mm -hmm. You need to move forward. Yes. There is mm -hmm. a goal that is set ahead of you that you need to work towards. So, distractions from marketer not having support from marketers. Nobody wants to support those that are just coming up. Right. Nobody wants to. I remember when I predicted my first album. I wanted a pro I wanted to produce that to a marketer to help me handle it. I got into the, I got there. I was introduced to the, that marketer. I, I wouldn't want to mention because of the sensitivity there. The marketer told me that if if except he has to sleep with me, oh, wow. he will be able to help to support he that. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. You know, he, he said that a lot of people do it things yeah. like that. And I now said, I'm married. He said, hey, so let your husband go and market the city for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he said, hey, go and give the city to your market to your husband now. And I went home, you know, of course the CD didn't really spread truly, mm. nothing really this and that. But when I didn't let that discourage me. You push forward. I still kept doing it. I just mm. and I'm still I will still keep doing it. God calls me mm. home. So a lot will come like that. Mm. But we don't just let it, you know, eat okay. us and push Apart us. Apart from you encouraging yourself to continue in the journey, what are the other things that make you going forward? Because I would love you to tell us how you are able to overcome in order to encourage those who are facing similar situation at this present time? Mm. Yeah, the, the, the first encourager is actually the Holy Spirit. Like I said, at times when I ask questions, and um, some of those questions could be very rhetoric. There are rhetorics that, you know, you ask some questions, you don't even have answers to it yourself. But, you know, Holy Spirit gives me answers and assures me that I'm not just there, mm. one, for the purpose of doing it, mm. um, that I am sent for a purpose. And, and the Lord told me that I'm not sent to everyone. Huh. He's given me the people he has sent me to okay. and what I need to do. So when in my dark moment, in my time of, you know, thinking that losing hope, huh. I have, I've got that assurance from the Holy Spirit. So one thing I always say is that your relationship with the Holy Spirit huh. gives you confidence even in the midst of distractions, in the midst of disappointments that you are seeing around. Huh. That's one. Also, like I said, having a good network of people who believe in you. You know, at times when you don't even believe in yourself, so people will tell you, no, you have you it. You can do it. They saw the potential yeah, they in you. See, yeah. So yeah. surrounding yourself with people who believe in your vision, people who know that you have this. Yeah. So not just, don't mingle 
with with people who don't value you. That so will always discourage they will you. always discourage you. So that's another thing that I will always encourage everyone. Oh, wow. If you have a goal, you have a vision, yeah. mingle with people who believe in you, people who trust you. Yeah. And of course, married a person also who supports your vision. That has actually helped me. Yeah. Because at times when I do drama, I hack my movie at all, I start shouting, I start doing this, this and thinking that everything is so it's not working well. There was there was a time I had it, I know like I had a program, the program did turn out well. I was almost crying. I was just saying, Don't kill yourself. Don't <laughs> please don't kill yourself. I need it. You know? So having you know uh, a spouse also that is very supportive mm. goes a long way That's to true. help. Yes and if if that is there, you have that. You you, you have that. So you have a support. So mm. your holy your relationship with your Holy Spirit, your marriage. If okay. you have it, but if you're single, you have relationship folks that you work together that believe in your vision. Okay. I've got people that are for the program I have. I have got people that are praying now. That they have a group that they are praying for me, praying wow. for the program. So when when you have people like that in your community around rest you, sure. you are rest assured. They believe oh, wow. those people for people yeah, to yeah, come yeah. together and be praying for me. Mm. Set up praying team. They must have seen something mm. that's you know you understand. Mm. Not just gathering people that will just be doing talk talk that does not have value. No action. No action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh wow. Let me quickly just um, acknowledge our people on the platform. Thank you everyone for joining. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, can I even mention names? I don't want to miss anyone out, but I can see everyone joining. Commenting, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord support you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody said that if you have not got to that junction yet, you haven't actually believed God has called you. Mm. Thank you for that comment. God bless you. And then, oh, I don't know if I should mention him, <laughs> but Baton de Tai was Shalom. Thank you, sir. He actually joined earlier. He was like, Shola, when are you starting? <laughs> we have started, sir. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Mm. I can also see my wonderful sister, um, Esther Johnson. Thank you, ma, for joining, for all your support at all times. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. I can also see my wonderful sister, Yetunde Abose De Ayofi Lua. May the Lord proclaim you for good. Mm. May all your it didn't cry come to testimony in the mighty name of jesus Amen. i appreciate you ma and also uh my beautiful sister uh yemisi ojulari thank you ma for joining god bless you oh brenda margaret thank you and also uh -huh. i did you too yes that's another beautiful woman of God on the platform. Thank you, ma, for joining me. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I can also see my wonderful brother, Okweyemi Abayomi. Thank you for joining, sir. God bless you for all you do for this program. May the Lord continue to bless you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I can also see my beautiful sister, Bukola Ogun. Thank you, ma, for joining. May the Lord enlarge you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for all you do to support this program. Thank you so much. Oh, I have loads, loads, loads of people on the platform joining, commenting. Can I just encourage you to please share this program? You know what? You're going to bless the soul by sharing this program. Share your platform. Share on your status. Share on your on your um, WhatsApp or everywhere. Just share to bless the soul because our testimony is going to change life tonight. You know, prevention, many are just with wrong associates. And without them even realizing, they are wasting their time with them. They don't know they are wasting their life, wasting their potential with them. But by you sharing this program, they're going to learn something. And God will bless you for doing so in the mighty name of Jesus. And to contribute to this show, is uh, the number you can call into is 79 079-4427-8530. Let us share knowledge together. You can call into Hassa a question. And also, we are going to ship into... Okay, we are receiving a call now. Please, let's pick this call. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. God bless you. We are on a program tag, a city meal. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm actually watching from um, Georgia in America. Okay. Bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions for my guests? Yes, uh, I mean, first of all, I want to encourage you. Uh, you're doing a great uh, work. Uh, I believe I'm speaking to Sean, Aki Sean. Yes, sir. If I'm right. That's right, sir. You're doing sir. a great work. Thank you, sir. I'm a media personality myself, so I appreciate your efforts and um, 
just want to encourage you to keep on pushing. Consistency is quite important in what we do. Yeah. And at times it might look like um, we are not getting the full reward of what we're doing, but in media, the more you do, you'd be amazed that, you know, in a couple of years, Ooh. I even believe that you'll be a household name. So Amen. just keep on pushing and um, may God remember you for good for all you Amen. do. It's not easy to do the, the work of the Lord. And when you now add the work of the Lord to gospel broadcasting, Ooh. it can be a little bit tedious. Right. But um, I appreciate you. I'm just knowing of you for the first time today. But um, I'd yeah. love to connect with you, obviously, hopefully later on. But I just want to encourage you to keep on the great work. Oh, thank you so and, much, sir. Uh, you're welcome. I also want to give a shout out to Save Omega Media. Um, you know, I pray that you guys will get bigger. Amen. 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 My name is Shoggy Shocks. Uh, I'm a oh. good uh, brother of um, Dr. Shola Simbo. Oh, um, I'm a, I'm a, I came for a tour, a media tour, um, and a ro- uh, broadcasting tour and some awards in America. So I just, I'm just here for a week. Okay. But, um, I saw the broadcast and I was like, no, I need to. I need to contribute a little bit. She's a wonderful sister, someone that really loves God. I hope she's not blushing right now. Oh, I'm actually <laughs> blushing. I'm blushing. <laughs> doctors, doctors are not supposed to blush. Oh, forget about that. We are blushing. I'm so happy to hear your voice. <laughs> she just came from Nigeria a few, like maybe, maybe a little bit over a year ago, if I'm right. Uh, we actually met at Adito to Vessel of Jehovah, who yeah. just dropped a comment on Facebook now. Oh. Okay, what number can we call her? Mm-hmm. I think she, she heard my voice and she was jealous. She was too. <laughs> <laughs> I need to look at, the, look at the broadcast. There's some studio line numbers, so you can call us. We'll beat you to, to the punch. But um, she was actually shooting a music video, and that was where I met Dr. Shola, okay. myself, and um, DJ Val, uh, the, the owner of, um, um, what do you call it, so, um, so for Gospel Radio. We're actually there to show love on the video set yeah. and I've known her ever since always vibrant for the Lord yeah. ministering all over London I may mm-hmm. feel a little bit jealous because I was born here but I think she's done more ministry <laughs> I was born here she's everywhere you know lifting up the banner of Christ so uh, the, the seed of God that is in you will not die in Jesus name. and mm-hmm. just keep on pushing yes, I'm so. coming back I'm supposed to stay here for like maybe longer but I had to call it short because I need to be at our video shoot. Thank so you, please, sir. guys, if you're out there, you need a mentor, you need someone that will encourage you, please reach out to this wonderful woman of God who I believe is going to go from greater height to even greater height. Amen. Jesus, Amen. 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 Thank you Thank so you. much. May the Lord honor you in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. All you have Amen. prayed for shall be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Amen. Bye for now. Thank you. Oh wow, what a wonderful <laughs> call we just received. Mm. Wow, I'm so, so happy to listen to that. I mean, to receive that call, it goes a long way. Thank you, sir, and God bless you. Moving forward, without wasting our time, can you please share with our viewers how many albums or single have you done in the past? And what do you have in stock for our people? Can you share, please? All right, thank you. So I have uh, three albums already, and I've got like five singles that I've done. Uh, my first album was titled Destiny, then um, another one, like Agbani Lagbaton, that's um, Complete Deliverer. Yeah. So, and um, I'm happy releasing one now that will be coming out in November 11. November 11, yes, please save so the date. November okay. 11, it's, um, the title is Awesomeness. Awesomeness. Oh, wow. Awesomeness. God is awesome. Oh, yes, wow. awesomeness. So, it has about nine songs. And they have, we have about nine songs in the album, and um, we're going to be doing the live recording. Okay, where is this happening? Can you share, please? Uh, it's at um, the Hack Forest Gates. Uh, London here, I think the Hack Sabat Road Forest Gates. Okay. Uh, the postcode is E7. The rest I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's within Forest Gates. We can okay. always share that later with them. And it's going to start by 5 p.m. Okay. to 8 p.m. on the 11th of November okay. 2023 nice. by the grace of God. Yeah. So, and that will be the third album that we're releasing. And uh, it's a loaded one, honestly, because actually three in one. Um, my birthday is on the 20, 20 of uh, this month. Oh, wow. So, uh, we're supposed to do it that same day. Okay. But because of Vinny and also, so that's why we pushed it. So, it's going to be three in one. Oh, wow. What's the thought? Jolly. 
the the three well that's um live recording album and birthday okay. celebration okay birthday i believe you guys don't want to miss this you don't want to so miss this so we're going to thank mm. god and also of worship and of praise to god on that day so i'm actually really looking forward to that hallelujah hallelujah may god uphold the day in the mm. mighty name of jesus Amen. i'm trying i'm here to encourage and also invite everyone please let us support our minister of god it is good to encourage one another. As she rightly said earlier on that, to be in good associate, we encourage you to push forward in whatever God has laid in your hand. Please save the date on the 11th of November, starting from 5 and it will end at 8 p.m. She said three in one. I believe God will bless you if you are attending in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, okay, I can see a uh, lot of comments on the platform. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to take much of our time because I know we are all engaged in one thing or the other. Thank you for the congratulating message. God bless you, Monument Kitchen. And also, um, Mr. Damilola Paul Samson said, The Lord will uphold the day. Amen. Amen. My beautiful sister, I did you too. Said Shogi Shogi, long time. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Aralewa <laughs> Jani. <laughs> and my beautiful sister yesterday said happy birthday in advance. Thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Ma. Uh, my beautiful sister uh, Bukola Ogun put the number on the platform. The number to reach us on this program is 79 She already put it on the platform. Please call in to contribute, call in to shipping your your advice for my beautiful sister i said earlier on that we're going to share knowledge together it's good to share knowledge so you might be advising us to even do better on what we're doing we are you are welcome to to advise us and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of jesus mm -hmm. now can you share with our viewers who are your mentors and why do you choose those people as your mentors mm -hmm. okay yeah, when it comes to music. Okay, we we'll have a call okay, now. Let me receive this call. Hello, good evening. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Bless you, sis. <laughs> yes, so finally I'm able to speak. Am I on to the program? Yes, you are. It's the me. Moment with Shola Simba. <laughs> Okay, that's good. So, Dr. Shala Simbao, this is, um, um, my name is Adetu Tobi Uji. You don't need to tell me your and, name, uh, your I've voice. By your, <laughs> I've been blessed by your ministry. And um, from the first day I ever got to know you, that was like four years ago. Hmm. And um, may God continue to bless you, Amen. increase you, and hmm. take you from grace to grace in Jesus' Amen. name. I've listened to all that you have said about the challenges which of course usually happens, you know, people go through that. But can you please give us some some tips as to how to, you know, like um, uh, overcome these challenges? What are the tips? Yes, you said the grace of God, but to be honest, we, you know, there are some practical things because the grace is, I don't want to say, it's always there, but I'm talking about like, physical things that people can do, the practical things because we're in a practical world. Mm. So for young people or people who are coming in, um, what are the things that you can advise? Practical things. Yes, we will pray. Yeah. But what are the practical things that one can do, you know, to be able to overcome, you know, all these challenges because they will always happen. Um, God um, bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that question. Okay. God bless you. Thank Stay you. tuned. Thank you. Bye. Okay, thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. Okay, can you ask another question? Answer that question? Thank you, thank you, my darling uh, friend, Adetu to view Jane for coming online to ask the question. Yes, it's actually, I know we are in a practical environment mm -hmm. um, that a lot of people, at times, even when these challenges come, it's at times difficult to pray. We, we know that when you are faced with things like That's this. Right. And like I always said, one of the things that one needs to do when you have a difficult uh, challenge like this, one, you stay back and stay calm. Hmm. When you take decision hastily, at times it's Imagine always negative. Yes, For right. instance, when I went, I needed someone to market, and uh, the person gave me, uh, you know, negative response. Immediately, I went back. I sat down, took my time to be able to know to mm. re-strategize. Mm. So you, I would advise young people to sit back. Don't be in a, you know, in, in a, a rush. rush. Don't mm. be in a haste mm. to make it. 
if I actually wanted, I wanted to blow quickly, the, the best thing I could have done at that time was to just eat to his suggestion. So people should learn to take their time that life is step by step, stage by stage. So I will advise practically when you are faced with challenges like this, first thing to do is to stay back, go into your corner and have a rethink, re-strategize. The another thing that you can do is do not, like I said, engage yourself apart from the music, apart from that, engage yourself with other practical things that can add more value to you. What I did was to, in fact, during that period, I left that. No, I, I didn't leave singing. I kept writing songs, writing songs, but I channeled some of my energy also towards to building my career in some other areas also. So that if I need money to promote my music, I really don't mm. need you. Confidently, I can support myself. Already. I have the resources already mm. to know what I need to do. Mm. So what I did was to still sit back and then I rechanneled my energy towards mm. other things that could add value to me. I know when you see value in me, you can invest in me. Mm -hmm. But because right. at that time you didn't see value in me, that was why you couldn't, you didn't Take want to invest, you didn't want to waste branches. your money. Mm -hmm. You didn't want you to, you see me as liability, I didn't want to waste my money. The, mm -hmm. thing that, the only thing I can steal from you is, okay, give me this and I'll give you the trade by butter. But if you see value in me, mm -hmm. so I will advise our younger ones mm -hmm. to invest in themselves. Mm -hmm. Invest in yourself mm. and don't don't chase after fame. Mm. Don't chase after fame. Fame would come That's right. when you chase after the right thing. Mm. Add value to yourself. Equip yourself. Mm. Once you equip yourself, and what other thing you can enroll yourself, go for courses, do mm -hmm. some courses that you need to do, get some professional courses. And if you need to go for music training, go, go use that time. Leave leave um, releasing song as I said. Go and do voice mm. training. Go and do some, go and learn about theory of music, learn about music, mm. use that time. Or if it's some other area that can also bring money, that can profit you in one way or the other, do, do it. it. When I was in Nigeria mm. then, when at times even when I go to minister, because of my whole di uh, directive that God has given to me, it's not as if I don't want to talk about that, whether you call it money, you don't call it money. But the truth is that to the glory of God, even when I went out there with my, with my, with my team, I already prepared the money from my own that I'm going to give them. Either I am blessed or not. So either mm. they give me honorary or they didn't give me honorary. I already have what I'm going to mm. give my team. So because I was working. Mm. Do you understand? So people should not be lazy. Mm. Because you are you are called. God don't call lazy people. That's right. God calls people who we are hard working. Work. My brothers mm. and sisters, get to work. Mm. You have the gifts. You have this. Mm. Work on yourself. Mm. Build on your skills. And be a sought after. Let people sought after. Let them call you hmm. and invite you. Hmm. Build on yourself. Oh, wow. Nobody wants to drop their, their content on someone who does not have anything to Any offer. Value. That's if right. you have the value. So my brothers hmm. and sisters, what I would advise you is sit back. Don't make decisions in a haste. Equip yourself. Evaluate, re-evaluate yourself. And fill in the gap, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. you think is missing in your own. Mm -hmm. Then like I will always say also, talk to people who can also mm -hmm. guide you. Mm -hmm. Talk to people who can, oh, this is how it is done. Mm. Oh, what you have done is right, but you didn't do it well in this mm. way. Those are practical things that I know I did. And like, so, yo, so follow. And it boils down to having the right people. If you go and say your matter to your people to that don't even understand, they would discuss, they will say, ah, why are you disturbing yourself with this? Don't you do don't it. even have the calling. Hey, 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 so, you understand? So, mingle, talk to people who understand what you have. Mm. With all this, I know, sure, one will be able you to overcome that. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope she has answered. Your question, my beautiful sister, I did to two. Thank you for the question. I believe she has answered that you should channel your energy to end, to every other thing that you believe that profits you, um, especially in financial resources that can help you to build your music career. Thank you so much and God bless you. Now, can you share with our viewers, okay? Chasing after fame by fire by force is what is killing people fast mm. these days. Thank you for the comments. God bless you, ma. Yes, chasing after fame can lead to death. It can lead to destruction because you want to copy other people. You just want to be there. No, wait for your time because time and season is under. The, is it will happen? Trust me. Especially if you, if God has given you that vision, the Bible makes us to understand that the vision might be tarry, yeah. but surely it will come to pass. So wait for your time, and you will definitely shine with your seed. May the Lord bless you for the comment, Bukola Ugoloyi. Bless you. Now, can you share with our viewers who are your mentors and what make you to choose them as your mentors? 
um, for segments, different areas of my life, I have mentors. In the area of my career, I have mentors. Okay. So in the HR, in the case of I have mentors. But when it comes to music, I have mentors. Number one of them is my um, my father. So and uh, I that's telling me to me for Shokoya. Okay. So I have chosen him as a mentor because I while I was growing. I was always following him also as a backup, yeah. backup to learn. I was able to learn a lot of things through from him, him yes, through yeah. him. And um, that he has remained there, he has remained there. Then aside that also, I have other people that I listen to their, to their songs and I tailor some of my composition also. Definitely you see some people that you know, okay, this and that. I, I listen to Sinatch a lot. Okay. And um, it's someone that we don't, it's someone that I, when I listen to uh, our music, I learn a lot from our music and this and that. So those are the people that, um, there are some other people that I listen to their work, but I won't say they are my mentor because if I don't have a relationship, you are not really my mentor if I don't have a relationship with you. Okay. Though you can, I can, you can be a model that I'm, mm -hmm. you know, modeling you can, myself you after. That. Way, exactly, yes. Yeah. So, but people that I know, I can, I, you know, relate to. Yes, I know. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. May the Lord bless you. Mm -hmm. Okay, be or be original in your song your original song as it's adverse time david and goliath okay thank you for sharing mr babatun day god bless you sir mr lanry shade the thank you my beautiful sister um prophetess alice Ola, Bissiola, to Boston. thank you for joining thank you for all your comment can you please share your platform to bless so please share 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 and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of jesus Amen. moving forward can you now sing for us oh. raw voice we want to listen to before we listen to your actual music god bless you okay. oh, so which of the song anyone anyone oh. anyone or you can give a tip from the upcoming album. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, I'll yeah. pick from the first, uh, I'll pick from one of the songs there. It's, um, okay, English, let me pick English. Let me start with Yoruba. Tito Binio, Alaru Toni Bobogo. Tito Binio, Ashiri Aye Ati Oru. Tito binio, olorun ti ko la kawe o. Tito binio, olorun to ni go go go. That's one. I don't want to stay there. You will know. Then <laughs> my sufficiency is in God. My sufficiency is in God. Men cannot satisfy me because they are limited in strength. Oh, my sufficiency is in God. My sufficiency, my sufficiency is in God. Oh, my sufficiency is in God. Men cannot satisfy me because they are limited in strength. Oh. My sufficiency is in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank Our you. sufficiency is in God because He has ability to do all things. Our God is God of possibility. Thank you so much for the tip. Thank if you want you. to listen to more of it on the 11th of November, please yeah. come. Let us come together to celebrate our sister. She's having three in one um, program for us that we're going to enjoy. Because I know she's going to cook for us because yeah. it's our birthday celebration. Yeah. We will eat and dance. Ah, can you imagine? <laughs> and we will also be blessed with the new releasing album. Oh, wow. That is three in one. And I pray God Almighty we uphold the day and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Moving forward, can you please now share with our viewers, how do you receive your inspiration? Mm. Uh, my inspiration, uh, that it's at times... They come in different ways. Okay. At times it could be circumstances. Things will just happen. Mm -hmm. And from there, word will come. But most of the time, my songs, um, like my, my children will say that it's only when the breeze is blowing mommy's head. <laughs> <laughs> 
that song is going up. Hey, hey, so hey, at that point, I'm taking a walk. Hey, hey. By the time I come, come back, my phone is not there with songs. Hey, hey. Honestly, most of my I remember my song, uh, I Declare You Lord, that I did uh, Heal Our Land during the COVID 19. I was outside yeah. the house, uh, the, 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 just, I, was, I sat at the balcony there and I was alone there. And the song was just coming Heal Our Land. Oh. I declare you Lord, I declare you Lord, I declare you Lord, you are my healer. That's the word I, so at times I will just get the lyrics, the chorus, I will get an aspect of it. Mm. Then with time, you I will not be developing, I will build it up. So mm. most of the time, circumstances around, most of the time when I read my Bible, one of my songs in the album is um, Tali Takumi. Mm. You know the story in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I was reading mm -hmm. that, it's that my, the, my, the Lord just took me to the book of uh, Ezekiel, mm. where the dry bones were. I, and I used that word like that. The hands of the Lord was upon mm. me in the valley of dry mm. bones. Mm. I will cause breath and spirit to enter. You and you shall live. Mm. The dry bones of my life come alive. Oh, the dry bones of my life come alive. Oh, Tali Takumi. Come on, like, so at times from the word it will come yeah, like that. Yeah. At times from things around, I remember one of the songs that I remember then uh, that I, I wrote, um, Darkest Hour. That was a period I lost a child of oh, mine. Wow. It was a very terrible time for me. I was crying. The song gave me a song that day, Agbari Lagbaton, that is a complete mm. deliverer. And he eventually delivered. Mm. It. So at times circumstances, things happen like that. And mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. It is well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Now it's time for us to listen to my beautiful sister song. Yes, she has sang for us, Rolly, and we enjoy the raw voice because that's actually a real real voice without any computerizing <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to listen to one of our music please stay tuned and also remember to share on your platform may the lord bless you mm -hmm. thank you
pray and I decree all our dry bones shall come back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for this beautiful song. That was a, a song of prophecy and I can I can feel it in my spirit. May the Lord continue to endow you with wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Moving forward, someone already has what is your YouTube channel. Can you please share your handles on all social media with our viewers. Thank okay. you. Thank you, my wonderful viewers. And on YouTube, um, I still remain Shola Simba on my YouTube, my Instagram, Shola Simba, my Facebook, Shola Simba, it's just S-O-L-A-C-Y-M-B-A-L. -L. Then on my TikTok, it's still Shola Simba. So for all my Twitter, Shola Simba. So in all my social medias, just type Shola Simba, but make sure you spell it so I don't put H in my own Shola. <laughs> my own Shola is S-O-L-A. <laughs> <laughs> so let us turn it to Dr. Shola Simba on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, on all social platforms to enjoy more of our song. And I believe it will bless our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, be uh, before we round up, it's now time for our interaction section mm -hmm. where we're going to um, sh discuss in a way and then to see how we are being good in our studies, in our Bible studies. <laughs> so we're going to quickly um, ask a few questions and I'm going to time you. Okay. Okay, somebody asked a question. A boss said, around me, day good day, he said, why do you shoot Simba? <laughs> she said that she said the reason earlier on, but can you share? Maybe she yeah. hasn't joined that time. Okay, thank you. The the name came from a a place of revelation. I was taken to the scripture at that time, and um, the Lord said to me that I am a high sounding Simba. If you read the book of Psalm, you will see where the Lord talked about praising Him with high sounding Simba, with an instrument of praise. So I, I it came like that that I am not just so I'm not just a singer, but I am a high sound of instrument of praise in God's hand. So that's what it means. Thank okay. you. Okay, I hope she has answered your question. That's the reason why she got the name Shola Simba. Shola Simba. Okay, moving forward, we're going to quickly go into our interaction section. If you are joining this program for the first time, we actually chip in this segment to ask questions from the scripture and the reason why is that we always want to remind of, of ourselves of where we are coming from if truly we are a child of god we should never forget our source and this is a way for us to always go back to our scriptures paraventure we must have forgotten some things that god have done in the in the bible so we want to remind ourselves and it doesn't matter if and if you know the question or you know the answer, or you don't know it, it does not matter. Even to my guest, if she knows it or not, it does not matter. We just want to interact together and encourage ourselves on how we can go back to our scripture. The Bible said the word of the Lord will be a lamp unto our feet. So in case we are derailing, we are missing it, then that will trace us back to Christ Jesus. That is the reason why we chip in this. Please contribute on your on your. Uh, on the platform, you can type it in and also you can call in to answer the question. She has just uh, 60 seconds to answer nine questions. Ah, I have nine questions. Nine today. questions? Yes, ma. I know you are able to. Ah, <laughs> Amen. Amen. So okay. your time starts now. Can we check book? We can't. You can't check book. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's cheating. Okay. You can't check. You can't check. So... My wonderful people on the platform, yes, we are starting now. The first question, who was the king known for wisdom? Who was the king known for wisdom in the Bible? Solomon. Solomon. Which book in the Bible described the end time, the final battle before revelation? Okay, number three, who was the first king of Israel? Who was the first king of Israel? Um, so, okay, number four, which apostle walk on water with Jesus? Peter. How many days did God create the world? How many days? How many days does God create the world? 
he created um, for the second seven day, six days, and he rested. How many? <laughs> how many days does Jesus fasted in the desert? Forty days and forty nights. Okay, Jesus was betrayed with thirty pieces of sliver. Who betrayed him? Judas is carried. What is the last book of the New Testament? Revelation. Who defeated the, the giant Goliath? David. Ah, Gao. It's <laughs> okay now. <laughs> the time stop. Oh, it just stopped now anyway. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me quickly see what we have on the platform. Yes, I can see my wonderful people commenting. My beautiful and wonderful um, brother, Mr. Babatunde Taiwo Shalom. He answered Solomon Revelation. Bukola Ogunlo, he also answered Solomon. Um, the third question answer, Mr. Babatunde said, Peter, Saul, 6, okay, 14, <laughs> okay, Jesus is curious, David, Revelation, these are too simple for Dr. Shola, okay, I will do more research, <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> challenge, <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> challenge, but mind you, do you know sometimes there are some little or very simple question we have on this platform and people tend to forget it's not that they don't know it, but for some reason they couldn't answer. It's not that they have not heard about it. It has happened. I remember I had somebody um, who turned the uh, water to wine. The person they remember. Why does it turn the water to wine? What happened? On what event? You couldn't remember. And we can't blame anybody for that, but we just want to. Okay, somebody said... <laughs> Exactly, it's too simple. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Next week, trust me. Mm. You see, I said we are all learning. So you are challenging me to do more research on what question I should bring on this platform. And I'm really appreciating this. Trust me. I'm going to work on it. Thank you all for contributing. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Shogi Shogi. It was good hearing your voice. Thank you, sir. And also, uh, Mr. Mr. Babatunde Taiwo, thank you, sir, for your comments. Thank you, my beautiful friend, Bukola Ogun. Thank you for your support at all times. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, before we round up the program, I would like you to encourage our upcoming artists. I know many have that zeal, many is eager to sing for God, to proclaim the gospel, and many are not doing it for fame or for money. But they just, they just have that passion in themselves that, okay, I want to sing. I want to use my voice. You could not even be on a singing career. But that seed is in them, and they are so passionate about it. How can you advise, please? Well, thank you, everyone, to all our people. And I want you to know that you've got something in you. Mm. God has not created anyone as, you know, as a tabula riser, someone who does not have anything upstairs. God has deposited a lot in you. All you need to know is to identify those seeds and nurture the seeds. Mm. For everyone who has actually identified their seeds and they are struggling mm. to, to, to nurture the seeds. Wow, there are so many resources around you that you can actually leverage on to nurture this gift mm -hmm. in you. So I want to encourage you. You've got a lot of potentials. One thing, like I said, build on that deposit you know, that God has, has given to you. Build on it, nurture it. How do you nurture it? Engage yourself, like I said, equip yourself with things that you can use to nurture the seed that God has given to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it might be for you to do take off some extra work to be able to get money, to get training that will be able to help that seed that God has put in mm -hmm. you. So the other one you're doing is getting giving you the resources you need to build, to build on that, that one, one that God mm -hmm. has actually would that God mm -hmm. wants to use to announce you to the That's world. Right. So there is there are always time that you need to go into mm -hmm. your corner and do research, hmm. research, network with the right people, hmm. use your time judiciously for hmm. things that will add value to you, not things that will not add value to you. Reduce 
social media so that that will not influence you negatively mm. is good i tell you that it's a, a tool that we are all using now mm -hmm. but don't spend your entire time on okay. social media mm. the time you're supposed to use to build on that seed in you don't just stay there except mm. if you are a um, freelancer somebody who is doing you know all those uh, media, social media influencer even as a social media influencer they research mm -hmm. to get content that they're going to use so please right. maximize your time Take time to nurture your seed that God has put in you. Grow it. Network with the right set of people. Mingle with the right set of people, not with mediocres. Then judiciously use your time and above all, mm. click to God. Mm. Thank you so much. What a wonderful advice. I pray God Almighty will enlighten us and give us that wisdom and ability to identify our seed and even to meet with the right people at the right time in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the advice. May the Lord bless you. At mm -hmm. this point, I'm going to give you this from Menument Kitchen. This is a little mm -hmm. gift from us. Please appreciate Menument for oh, us. Oh, Menument Kitchen. Kitchen. This is awesome. Oh my God. May the Lord bless Menument Amen. Kitchen. Amen. Uh, the hand that has made this will never run dry Amen. in the name of Jesus. Wisdom, connections, Amen. blessings, Amen. more open doors Amen. will be coming. I appreciate you and you. If you don't know anything about many many people, now you have known. This I dedicate this to all my Facebook fans, even oh, though wow. it will go into my tummy. <laughs> but I dedicate it to you all. So you just need to <laughs> to support many many kitchen, please. Give them all the support they need and invite them for the occasion. The Lord bless you. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Are you looking forward to celebrate any occasion? Menument Kitchen is here to, 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 to grace your event with their delicious food. Also, we have a fruit um, business that we do to decorate or to present at your event where we can um, make your guests have that everlasting memorable, memorable of your event. Please contact us. And also, if you are willing to have a cake decorator or event planner or photographer or videographer, we all we have all that in the house. Trust me, they will never disappoint you. We can network you to them, and they will surely deliver. They will deliver perfectly, hundred percent. Please call into zero seven nine double four two seven eight five three zero. Trust me, your occasion will be forever remembered by your guests. Trust me. And I pray God Almighty will cause us to celebrate things of good in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. I would like to appreciate everyone that joined us today. Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough because we can't do this just by ourselves. We can't do it without you being on the platform. You have made it a, 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 a gracious one. You have made it a memorable one. You have made it even more fun for us. So I want to say a big thank you to you. Also, I would like to thank my wonderful husband, Mr. Olawale Akishon, the CEO of Safe Omega Media. Thank you for streaming live this program for us at all time. May the Lord continue to announce you for good. Mm. Do not forget on the 11th of November, it's very important. Please put it down on your diary. It's starting from 5 to 8 at um, Forest Gate. We're going to we're going to dance and praise the Lord together, celebrate my wonderful sister while she's releasing a new album. Please try to put that date down. It's very important. The address will reach us soon. I will share it on my platform and also on our platform, Dr. Shola Simba on Facebook, YouTube, um, and everywhere. Please connect and the Lord will meet with you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are willing to celebrate any occasion, don't forget, call us. We will grace your occasion with our delicious food and we give you the best service from from our company. May the Lord bless you. Thank you all for joining Sister Lanry Shodenwo, my lovely sister J22 said. This is interesting. Well done. More anointing. We are eating the food together. No yes, problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you all for joining. I can see all the comments. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Till next week that we meet again, I remain loyal to you. She will keep showing on the platform tag a CD me. Stay tuned.
Oh, <laughs> 